Now, one, one thing you told me after the Granados fight, you didn't really make mention in the media, but you hurt your hand pretty badly in that fight. But you know, I don't, I don't, um, you didn't make excuses about I it. I don't make excuses. Right. You know, but in the first round, I, I definitely, uh, I broke my hand again. But, you know, um, you know, I, they even tried to put me on, um, hydrocodone. Yeah, yeah. And, and crazy drugs, but, but I didn't take it. You know, I just let my hand heal up. You know, I didn't cry about my performance or, or none of that, you know, I just had to, I did what I had to do to get my victory now. If I didn't break my hand, I, I think I would have stopped them, you know, but, you know, um, Adrian Granado's a, a friend of mine, you know, I'm happy for him, and, you know, he, he actually just, he actually just called, well, I called him, uh, like, three days ago, and, um, you know, he's doing good, and, um, you know, he's my buddy. Now, there's a lot of big fights in Summer 17. Are you looking for that KO victory for you now, Nate? There's a smaller dude coming up in weight. You got naturally more power. I'm not here looking for knockouts. I, I don't ever look for knockouts. You know, well, one, one time, one time I can say we really trained for knockouts. Ashley, Ashley, yeah, Ashley, yeah. yeah. We, we right uppercuts, yeah, yeah. Right <laughs> yeah. But um, we really not training, you know, for a knockout. We just training to go be the best Asian runner I can be. Do you feel confident the original Camden will be back oh, in July? Ah. Yeah. Oh, man, anybody can get it. Oh my God. You know, I'm I'm just, I'm just ready to put on a, a hell of a performance. And I'm just ready to go out here and, and do my thing. Yes, most definitely. Because, uh, you know, my following out here is, is, is huge. Mm -hmm. uh, and, you know, I got to put on a show. Everywhere I go, I got to put on a show. I got to entertain. And you know, he got a nice following out here as well. And I think we're gonna have a sold out night. You talk about maturity, can you talk to me about that? Um, you know, it's all about growth. You know, making better decisions. You know, thinking when you speak before you speak. And you know, um twenty-seven, I'll be twenty-eight on the July twenty-eighth, I fight on the twenty-ninth, so this is gonna be a birthday present to me and my twin brother and um it's, it, it's just time to, you know, start living like a grown man instead of a 20 year old kid. You feel my special for college always, but in between you said you had no choice. You had no choice but to go to college. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because you gotta understand, you know, uh, my big brother Rashi Warren, he's a three time Olympian and, and he was up there training and I had to train as well, so we just had to go to college. You said that you've been training What can you respect? Uh, it's okay. It's okay. At the end of the day, after my career, after it's all said and done, my name will be in the history. And this will be a major fight in my career. Hey, you already have a massive social media following. You know, people love you. Do you think this fight is going to be a and cross over and start? Yes. Yes. Like I said, this will be the, the, the cross from superstardom. Of my career. So, uh, what, do you, what do you see happening? Now? I know you won't want to be like, you know, not like what, but be following his footsteps, so to speak, and be the next, you know, people be okay. What do you have to do in this fight to get to get there? Um, don't get me wrong, I look up to Floyd Mayweather. You know, um, he's he's a big part of the reason why why I went the route I went. You know, just looking up to him and all of his all of his accomplishments. But you know, I'm not I'm not trying to be the next Floyd Mayweather. I'm not. I'm just trying to be the best agent runner I can be, you know. And if I put up the gloves and I, and I retire knowing that I was the best that I can be, I'm fine with that. You see more more relaxed than ever before. Is that true? Uh, yeah. I mean, you know, um, I got a different mindset. I got a different mindset, and you know, um, I'm just I'm, I'm doing everything different. People are sleeping on you. Are they in for big surprise? They better wake the fuck up. <laughs> 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 you know, at the, at the fights in the Barclays, a lot of the young young people coming out, the 20 year olds, 20 year olds. Oh, I got the urban crowd. They all out. No, no, I'm saying a lot I got of the urban crowd, I got the young kids, I got the young kids. Listen, man. It's, listen, you can't tell me it's a young fighter in the game right now that don't want to be Adrian Brown. They don't even want to be Adrian Brown. They want to be AB, and that's wrong. I want them to be. I want them to be the AB that's about boxing. I don't want them to be the the AB that's about business. Because it's a kid around here, uh, the name of Biha. He yeah, little Biha. Little Biha. He want to be a, a, about billions, and, and all he talk about is the the Rollies, the hundred thousand, hundred thousand dollar watches, the hundred thousand dollar earrings, the. 
because the chain, you know what I'm saying? I, I always tell them, you know, it's not about that, man. Just focus on boxing. You got talent. And all, all the rest of the stuff going to come. But these same young fighters, especially the ones in your weight classes, they look up to you, but you know they take your spot in a minute. Is that part of the reason why you took a big fight like this to show, you know what, I'm still here. I'm top pound for pound, and you all got to wait your turn. I don't, I don't know if they'll take my spot because I, there is nobody that can do what I do. Um, um, honestly, you know, even, even you see it in boxing today, I'm not depreciating nobody's um, skill. uh, skills or, or, or their talent, but when it comes to entertainment and, and boxing, period, nobody's doing it how Adrian Brown is doing it. And, you know, um, it's more to, it's more to be a star than just boxing. Maybe that was a bigger weight. I know it's hard to do as I do. You think a four year be more active? I mean, you know, um, I don't fight every fight the same. You know, once we once that bell ring and I make my adjustments, I'm gonna do what I gotta do to get my victory. You, you think four four is your best win? Yes. Uh, man, I ain't listen. Let him take her. Don't get me wrong, I'm very generous. I'll give up my last if somebody <laughs> needed it. But we ain't giving up no half a meal. <laughs> hey, Adrian, how motivated does a fight like this make you? Um I'm 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 actually happy I got a I got a fight of this magnitude because uh when you fight sometimes that's why I tip my hat off the floor, because no matter who we fight. He's all, he, he, he gets up and he trains like it's the, the hardest fight of his life. Even though he called me like, nah, I'm gonna kick this guy ass. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But, you know, um, it's, it's, it's tough, it's, it's hard, you know? And, you know, um, a, a fight like this, man, it, it, it only makes me, it got me training almost every day. You know what I'm saying? No days off, man. Even, even sometimes, you know, I gotta get my, I gotta make myself rest. Like, all right, I'm, I'm overdoing it. But, you know, um, I just want to go out there and, and just put on a great performance for my why, fans. What kind of plan will you implement? Why, 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 why is this? Why at this time is pushing? I mean, you got a three-time world champion. You got a four-time world champion. You know, um, he's undefeated. He's at the top of his game, and I'm still at the top of, of, of the boxing game. You know. Um, one of the big names, bigger, biggest names in boxing, and um, I just know um, after this fight, you know, it's only going to bring more, more light and um, a bigger magnitude to my name. Do you feel more comfortable at this weight, though? You think 140 is your weight? I mean, check the record. <laughs> 140 pounds and down. I'm a, I'm an undefeated fighter. Growth wise, now, man, you're maturing and so you're in the prime, you're in the past prime of your career. You know, this is your best How year. How can you say it's my prime? You, know, you, you, got, you, got, you got guys who didn't meet their prime until they were in their 30s. Mm -hmm. So, so, so how can you say it's my prime? It's just, it's just, it's just listen, hold on, now it's time for you to listen. It's, it's, it's just, I've done so much already early. You gotta understand that 23, I was a three time world champion, three different weight classes. At 26, a four-time world champion in four different weight classes. So I've done so much early in my career. That's all it is. If you put a percentage on how, on how, good, you know, how good you are right now, to what you did, what would you say? Uh, I, I, I don't want to say it's too many cameras around. I don't want to say. <laughs> I don't want to say. But I can I can tell you, man, you know, you haven't seen the best Adrian Bronner. Um, I don't know why people think I can't box or I'm um, flat-footed. <laughs> but keeping it 100, bro. You are actually not. You say, and then you say you keeping it at 100. 100 bill changed three times. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Adrian, we know you're a big fan of the sport. I see you at a, a lot of the fights. Maybe you saw the fight this weekend on Andre Ward. Maybe you have any feedback on that? You think Ward took it, looked phenomenal, or you think those low blows, blows how to do anything with it? Or? See, nah. See, listen. Kovalev was ready to quit. He was ready to quit. Point blank period. I don't care what nobody say. I've been hit low before. Um, um, and I'm not saying he got hit low. But even if he did, it didn't make him quit. And you can tell when somebody gets hit on, hit on the nuts. They drop down and they're excruciating pain. And you're probably complaining uh, to him. He was ready to quit. He, he was tired. He wasn't complaining. Um, um, he just got hurt by, by a big right hand. And I think Dre was going to gonna stop him anyway in, 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 in a couple of rounds. And he was pissed about his mom too. Uh, 
I, I, I don't get the people money. I just, <laughs> I just make sure my check is straight. The weekend. You still feel again? You talked about you still have more left before you peak and reach your prime. You feel yourself going up in weight? Do you think you better? Um, of course. I mean, you know, um, I got the best mentor in the game. All I do is sit back and uh, let everybody beat each other up, and then somebody will luck up and come champion. And uh, that's where the really guys have gotten five world titles. We're, we're, we're gonna get a championship at 154, you know, right opponent. But uh, right now, our biggest <laughs> test is uh, Mikey Garcia. And after that, we're going to go to the drama. Hey, B, you got a great resume, man. Uh, where does Mikey rank up with all the, the top guys that you fought? I don't, I don't, I, I don't rank fighters. I, I'm really not judgmental on fighters because, you know, at the end of the day, I haven't fought Mikey before. So I can't, I can't rank him until I fight him. And, and after that, I still won't rank him. You know, um, you know, I just want to be victorious, and I just want to put on a great show for all you guys. Which style do you implement for this fight? Do you do more boxing, or do you, again, try to more boxing, or do you do more... Uh, what, for this fight? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Um, the style, what, what style one? Kick ass, that's what <laughs> <laughs> Mikey's been training for the shoulder roll. Thank you, Amy. It looks like in your past few fights, you haven't really been using the shoulder roll. So you're, like, kind of missing the point with, like, he's got people with sparring partners, you know, who are using the Philly shallow shoulder roll style. Are you going to still come in here with that? Just watch the play. Adrian <laughs> Mikey said that we can tell how serious you are by the fact that you are in Colorado Springs. Did you feel like you had to make a renewed commitment to this fight or just to your career? Um, after my last fight, I told the team, I told my coach, I told my mom, I told everybody, I was like, uh, it's time to go back to the go back to the drama bar, go, go back to what we know, man, and um, you know, get, get to work. Did you feel, I mean, do you regret, you know, being as focused as you might have been? Oh, no, I don't, I don't ever regret nothing because everything in my career has made me who I am today. So, you know, um, you know um, right now, you know, um, I'm just very focused. And I can assure you that July 29th is going to be a hell of a fight. And, and do you feel like you're getting out of this patient approach with your pressure and your size and power? Just watch July 29th, man. I don't, I don't want to say too much, man. You know, uh, just know, man. You know, focus agent Brown is very, very, very dangerous for anybody. I know you brought up Kodak last time. Um, I mean, you have a good five to one, are you sure? That's just disrespect. That's like a spit in my face. You know what I'm saying? But you know, um. I bet it won't happen again. Guarantee it won't happen again. And you brought out Kodak last time, man. Can we expect any uh, of the young hip hop stars to come and walk you out again? Is, is uh, any big surprise? And you know I got to do it. <laughs> uh, I can't. I can't. I can't let that. I like. I can't let that cat out the bag yet. All right. All right. But um, like I said, man, I always come to entertain. New York got some great. Hip hop artists okay. here. Ooh, maybe an A book, maybe yeah. Don Q, Davies. Because I'm not a regular person. <laughs> I don't know, man. You know what? I don't know, man. I'm, I'm going to do something. I'm going to do something real nice. Yo, in, in the Porter and Maidana fight, you showed a lot of dog. I mean, you were in there against tough opponents, showed a lot of dog. Garcia's got all victories pretty much easy. Do you think you can use that, what you took from those losses, actually to help you in a tough fight like this? Because you don't have that kind of experience in going through that grueling fight like you Every have. Every fight is different. Right. Every fight is different. Um, for me, it's just, all I got to do is stay focused and be the best Adrian Bronner I can be. And I will be victorious. And I'm going to put on a victory. Maybe. Were you surprised to hear Errol Spence kind of air out his version of the story when you guys fought? Nah, nah, I mean, you know, <laughs> me and me and Errol had wars. Uh, <laughs> it was fun. Uh, it's always fun when we meet him in the ring together. And, you know, um, you know, that was a particular time. You know, um, I'm, I was a 130-pound fighter. He's fighting uh, 152, and you know, but it's no excuse. He caught me with a good shot. He caught me with a good shot. But the way it was, we sparring, we were clutching. 
Because every time we spar, we just, it's, it's real physical. Oh, you okay. Every time me and Earl spar, it's, it's very physical. And, and we, we mostly in the middle and we just clutching, clutching. And this particular time, he like slid down and caught me with a left hand, boom. And he hit me, he hurt me, and the bell rung. So, so I'm mad, I'm like, no, no that's, that's not it. So that was, it was our last round, and, and the bell rung, so I'm like, oh, no, no, fuck that. So I'm like, we gotta, we gotta keep sparring, or, or, or Sean, me and you gotta spar, or Jesse Hart, me and you gotta spar, Marcus Brown, I gotta spar somebody, because where I'm from, where I'm from, somebody hit you with a good shot like that, and the bell ring, we gotta go like two, three more rounds. So I feel like I got mine back. You know what I'm saying? That's all it was, but, you know, he come with a, with a, with a, with a, with a hell of a shot, a hell of a shot. You know, Earl's very strong, I'm very proud of him, congratulations to Earl. And, um, you know, that's all it was. He just called out Danny Garcia. I know you and Danny are close, too. One more question. How would you see that fight going? Huh? He just called out Danny. So, I know you're close with both of them. How would you see that I, fight playing I, out? I, I just want to see it play out. I all just right. want to see it. It would be a great fight. Looking back over your career, anything you would do differently? Huh? The whole career. Not just this fight. Anything you would do differently if you could do it again? Um... My whole career? Yeah, anything. You can pick anything. You can throw a different punch. You can say a different thing. I probably want to smash Polly's gut. <laughs> <laughs> really though? Huh? Wasn't that good? No, I'm serious. Wasn't worth it? No, no, it, 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 it is not how good it was or, or, it's just or that if it was that good. It's just, it's just Polly's a real good guy yeah. to me. I didn't, you know, back then I was young. I was very young. Um, I was just, you know, I, I, I wouldn't have did it. I wouldn't have did it because that's, 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 that's what we're looking for. Are these real? Huh? The glasses? Are they prescription? Yeah. Huh? What do you say? Are they real prescription? Or are they just real? Oh, yeah. Hi, right, guys. We've got to take Adrian back. They, Thank they you made, for your they questions. Made for 2020 vision. Let's go ahead. <laughs>